Welcome back to Call of the Wild. So the other day we tried out the air rifle on the white tail, black tail, and even the black bear. It worked out pretty well, but today we're gonna try it out on the wild boar. And well, it just so happens we have a fox out here, so we're not gonna pass him up. Smoked him. Not bad, just started the hunt. We already have a fox down with the air rifle. Let's see how we did on her. Wow, double lung shot at 112 yards out. It looks like we don't have any consecutives, but that was, man, that was almost a heart shot. Very nice. Well, that was kind of cool. We already got a fox down, but now we're actually going to head over to a really good spot for some wild boar. We actually happen to have a tripod set up. All right, so we just got to our first setup here. We actually have a tripod set up between a rest zone and a need zone, and I'm hoping we can cut them off as they're cutting across. All right, so I just saw movement right over here, and it looks like we have a male wild boar coming in about 50 yards away. We have a nice little spot here. We can see this whole opening right here. This mill is about 48 yards out. So I think we'll get ready and take a shot on him. There it is. Looks like we have another wild boar coming in here. This is actually the female and I saw something else right there, another female, two females. This female looks like she's coming up right over the top of this ridge here. So if she stops there, we're not gonna pass it up. Definitely should have been smoked. Yep, she's going down. And I don't think the other one would have spooked. Uh, she might have. She might have been right. Oh, nope, she didn't. She's right here. I mean, she definitely knew something was up, but I don't think she actually spooked. Because she's still within about 80. Alright, so as she's coming in, I just spotted motion from something else over here. Right there. Another female. So it looks like there's a bunch of females here and one male. She is 50 yards out as well. Let's get ready on her. Seems like they want to cut across right here. Shot looked pretty good. Yep, we got her. Awesome. So this... That's a boar. Okay, we got a boar here. So there's a male wild boar not too far away. Oh, that was him right there, I'm pretty sure. And we also have three wild boar down already, so we gotta make sure we don't lose these. The small boar ran off to the left, the female ran straight back, and the other female ran to the right. I mean, we should be able to find them, no problem at all. I'm just gonna write down we have three down, just so we remember. Alright, so there's our boar right there, and yeah, we could wait till they come a little bit closer for some of these, like 50 yards is borderline. I'll tell you what, if we find something that's gonna be... Wait, why is he... Did he just run away? What the heck? Now they got a female here at 67. But if we find something that's gonna be like a nice, you know, a big boar or something like that, then we'll definitely let them come within... Within about 40, for sure, and go for a double lung shot, but... Since they're only gonna be like a small... Small silver, maybe even a big silver. It doesn't really matter much. We're just we're just out doing a real hunt here. And even this female here, she's in range. She is about 57 out. Let's get ready on her. Of course, it's got to start raining again. I wonder if she's going to stop behind that rock. Oh, she was pretty much perfect, but quartering too much right now. So we'll wait. All right, she's walking. And she stopped. We'll go for it. I feel like we definitely had a potential to hit it. We got it. 50 yards out. And that's why I really like these round nose pellets. Because the penetration is what's so important for a medium sized to big sized game. With this air rifle. I actually tried out the hollow points. Because a lot of you guys were saying. Oh try out the hollow points. They're amazing. And they might be amazing for the small game. For instance like coyote, jackal, uh, lynx. Something like that. But let's just say we tried it out on the white tail and it didn't really turn out too well. So how good are the hollow points for the 45 caliber air rifle really? Well, today we're going to find out. Alright, so it looks like we just got eyes on a couple decent white tails out here. There's two bucks there, there's a doe there, and a doe here. So we'll see how close they actually do come. I would like to get them to come to 100 yards. Because I know if they get within 50... We could, we probably should be able to get 100% on the quick kill, but I want to know if we can get 100% at 100 yards out with the hollow points. That's what I want to know. Yeah, it's about 98 right there. 
So if he stops... That was a solid hit. How do we do? Not so good. So that was about 95 out, and I don't see why that wouldn't have been a good hit. I mean, I would imagine we probably got a single lung, but that's not really impressing to me. Oh, looks like we got another buck sneaking in here. It's not the same one, I don't think, is it? Uh, I don't think so. We'll try for a heart shot. Did not get it. Man. So, so far, I am not really impressed with these hollow points. Well, there you have it. That's what the hollow points do. We have an injured buck right there and another injured buck right there. So, not too promising. Okay, so I see something sneaking in here and I'm pretty sure that's our boar. It is definitely our boar, but he's going to come super close. We actually have to take the scope off on this thing. Stop, stop, stop. Man, that was so awesome. I don't even know what to say. Open sights at like 10 yards away, the lessons, probably like eight yards away, and we just smoked a nice boar. Wow, I did not expect that to happen. And we also have another one coming in over here. I think this is the female. Oh, that is definitely not a sow. That's another boar, so I would have been right. I didn't know there was two boar here, but apparently there is. So this guy's going to be about 50 out. And this time we're going to wait till we get a perfectly broadside shot, because there's no hurry. But I want my... Yeah, he's pretty broadside. That was money. That was definitely smoked. Only got a single lung, but he is smoked, for sure. What do we have calling over here now? That is a bison. So before we go over and pick some of these up, let me just show you the location we're at. Actually, this need zone here is where I got two of my diamond wild boar. The only diamond wild boar I've ever gotten right here. This need zone is from 7 until 1130. I actually have a tree stand set up here, but I figured it would be too close. So uh, this is the rest. Well, I thought it was the rest zone, but apparently it's another. Okay, so I actually had it opposite. This is actually the need zone over here, and this is the rest zone over here. But what's strange to me is they eat first and then they sleep. You would think that they would sleep, wake up, and then eat. But I guess it's opposite here. Anyways, right here is where we have our tripod set up right here. At uh, Tichenau. Yeah, I should probably show you that. We're at Tichenau. And I believe this is the first one. So let's pick it up and see how we did. Left lung shot at 36 yards out. This was the first one. It was a female. Okay, good. We still have the round noses in. I was wondering, like, wait, we might have actually been able to get double lung on that, but... And I suppose we'll grab the one by the tripod right away. What did we actually hit? Wasn't big enough to be a gold, but we ended up getting a right lung and thoracic spinal cord shot at 7.3 yards out. Open sights right below the tripod stand. And I believe we have three more left, so let's pick this one up. This might be... Uh, no, this is a female. This was a 48 yard shot right to the left lung. And this was a left lung shot at 44 yards out. So you can see at 50, you're starting to lose quite a bit of the quick kill. But I mean, we're not really hunting for a quick kill right now. We're mostly just hunting for wild boar. And yeah, it works pretty nice. So I believe we have one more boar that ran off this way. This is actually our decent sized one. I think we might have actually gotten like a 65% on the quick kill on that. There are only two miners anyways. It's not like they're big. Just small boars anyways. So I saw him run that. Yep, he's down right here. And take a look. We got a bonus. We got a bonus. We got a fox out here at roughly 100 yards out. Uh, well, if you call that a fox, I guess. It's definitely not a fox. And that was definitely a miss. What the? How, how far was that? Oh, oh holy... <laughs> That was 180 yards out. It did not look like a... No wonder why I thought it was a fox. Anyways, let's take a look at our wild boar here. This is the boar. I'm thinking we might have like a... Nope. Another 47%. 29 yards out. We ended up with a 47% and a left lung shot. A very nice shot though. You can see right behind the front shoulder. 
All right, so we just got to our next setup here, and I can already see some wild boar coming in. That's not a bad size one right there. Another decent three there. And there's a couple more coming in the back here, but there's already one or two more sows up in the front. A female there, another female there. We have a boar, which is a male there, a female there, and another female there, and we have another boar there. This guy's 100 yards out. I would like to take that far of a shot just because nothing else should spook. So if he holds up at 100 yards, we might go for it. Shot looked pretty good. We got it. Okay, so the first one is actually down, which is really cool. Okay, yeah, I see another one coming in. This is the female. She's actually stopped out there at about 110. That was perfect. Yep. Okay, she's going down good. And we also have another one out here at 120. Another female. Now, supposedly you can go for a brain shot, but... If she gets a little bit closer, we'll try. Oh, this might work out. Now, that should have been brain, but obviously it wasn't. Can we get a solid hit into her? Hey, there we go. Oh, just missed the second shot. So apparently there was another one by her, and I don't think we're going to try for any more brain shots. At 100 yards at least. Maybe like 50 or less, but... And I totally forgot how many wild boar we have down. I would say probably like six... This was a right lung shot at 73 yards out. That's why it didn't go down as fast as I would have thought. And why did we lose our consecutives? We literally grabbed everything that we took a shot at. That makes no sense to me. But okay, unless we hit that road here, which I don't think we did, but anyways. And this is the other female at 109 yards. Okay, very nice. 36% on the quick kill, but a lung hit at 109 yards. I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like this should be the first one that we got at 109 yards. No, this is the second one. This is the one that we tried for the brain shot. So this is actually the third one. Now, did we drop just a touch low on that? Or did it just not have the penetration? Because I feel like it was going for brain, but it just didn't quite make it. 72 yards out, flesh stomach. This is actually the one that I said we smoked, but... <laughs> We hit a little too far back as she was trotting at 72. 0% on the quick kill, but she did go down, so not bad. And here he is. 97 yards out with a 55%. Ended up getting a left lung and vertebrae shot, so not bad. Not bad at all. So as you can see, you're not going to get 100% if you're taking far shots at the wild board with the air rifle, but I'll show you what happens when you're within 50 and you actually make a good shot. So once he slows down... Come on. Turn a little bit more. Perfect. We got him. Yeah, I didn't really want him to go that far because I knew he was going to eventually be able to smell us because the wind's blowing right directly at him. But we got him. Right there he is. All right, here he is. And looks like we ended up with a double lung shot at 33 yards out. So that worked out pretty nicely. 100% on that. All right, so let's show you where we just got all those wild boar at. We're over here by the Molar World logging area on the far uh, northeastern part of the map over here. We have a need zone right here from 11.30 till 15. We have our tripod set up right here on this point. So this whole area here is a really good area for wild boar. I actually got two albinos, one here and one over here from this same area. So I think that's going to be it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.